we were going to start with Netanyahu. So Netanyahu gave his big uh, speech in front of Congress yesterday. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I think it was 70 Democrats didn't bother to show up as a protest against, uh, against Netanyahu. Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, you know, one of the squad, Taleb, uh, was there. She held a little sign. It was kind of little. Uh, something about genocide uh, uh, in front of Netanyahu, kind of to, just in front of his face. Didn't really bother Netanyahu. He gave the fire-breathing motivational, we can all get behind a speech that I expected him to give. Uh, he is, as I've said over and over and over again, no, it had genocide on the sign. I saw the sign. It had genocide. I don't think it was war criminal. Maybe she had two signs. Maybe she had a war criminal sign and she, she flipped it between the genocide sign and the war criminal sign. Anyway, um, uh, he gave the, the fire-breathing, you know, great, great... Um, uh, speech that we all expected i expected anyway <clears throat> it was um it was a good speech it blamed you on uh, you know we are fighting your uh, your uh, your battle uh, this is not a battle of civilizations it's a battle between civilization and barbarism i mean thumbs up yes 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 everything i agree now live up to it <laughs> that is my that's netanyahu live up to the speeches I, you know, speeches are fantastic. They've always been good, BB. We have no complaints about the speeches. Live up to them. Actually act. Listen to your own speeches. Listen to your own speeches. And then go and do what you say should be done. If you do that, wow, you save Western civilization. Um, anyway, it was, uh, it was good. It, it needed to be said. It needed to be said to the United States. It's too bad Netanyahu is the vehicle. I still think Netanyahu is nothing but a power-lusting politician um, who, who doesn't, who, who's a, who again, doesn't live up to his speeches and who doesn't care about anything except sustaining power. Interesting, uh, uh, you know, Washington, D.C. was uh, flooded with uh, thousands of people who, uh, who were demonstrating against Netanyahu. Uh, a massive pro-Hamas, and let's name them what they are, pro-Hamas demonstrations uh, all over Washington, D.C. And uh, just to be clear about what being pro-Hamas means in the American context, they, they, you know, because Americans, I don't think, quite understand, the, the protesters made it very clear by taking down the American flag outside of Union Station in uh, Washington, D.C., a big, beautiful American flag, uh, made in China, probably that that is the one flaw of this flag, and maybe this is why they did it to them. Maybe they maybe they want maybe they maybe this wasn't the pro Hamas um, uh, uh, far left. Maybe this was the the National Conservatives who did this. I don't know. But they took down the, because it was a, a made in China American flag. Anyway, they took down the American flag at Union Station, and they burnt it, and they danced, and and then they they they. Um, horrifically uh, uh, had graffiti all over the monuments there and everything. I mean, just a disgusting, despicable display of anti-Americanism, um, a, a disgusting, despicable display of, uh, of anti-civilization, a pro, really pro-barbarism. Uh, these people waving the Hamas flag, uh, uh, putting Gaza everywhere, gays for Gaza and all of that. Netanyahu made fun of that. Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, uh, Cook says Bush also gave some fantastic speeches. No, he actually didn't. Uh, we can talk about that. We'll talk about that. We'll get to your question later. But, but he didn't. I don't think he did. Um, I, I, all of his speeches were terrible. I, I can't think of a single good speech that Bush gave in terms of content or in terms of style, but certainly in terms of content. Um, anyway, uh, yes, they were demonstrating, uh, vandalized, burn American flags. Um, it took today, this morning, this happened yesterday, uh, for a group of Republican congressmen to go to Union Station where these monsters raised a Gazan flag, a Hamas flag, up instead of the American flag. Nobody running Union Station had 
the sense to take down the Gaza flag, even if you didn't have an American flag to replace it, take down the Gaza flag, the, the Palestinian flag. Uh, so today, a group of Republicans we, went over there, uh, took down uh, the, uh, the Palestinian flag and put up, uh, put up a, um, an American flag uh, in, in its place. Uh, so it, gave, it gave the Republicans a nice photo op. But um, yeah, just disgusting. The protesters, what drives them, what motivates them, um, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and uh, remember the, 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 what they're adoring, what they're promoting, what they're supporting is, is, is Hamas. It's, it's, it's the most barbaric, the most horrific, violent, disgusting um, uh, you know, a uh, um, form of Islamism these days. So what they're advocating for is Islamism. And when they say Hamas is coming, which I guess they sprayed on one of the monuments, they'll, they're dead if Hamas comes. Hamas is not going to spare them as, you know, the leftist pro-peace uh, Member, uh, you know, uh, people who lived close to Gaza border discovered that their politics didn't matter. Hamas hates them, will kill them, will rape them, will torture them, will brutalize them in any way that they can. Um, truly despicable, these protesters. And, and again, not reflective of the American people, again, an example of the left being despised ultimately by the American people. And the farther left you go, the more damage these people do to the Democratic Party. You know, more demonstrations like this will guarantee that Trump gets elected because nobody wants that. And if Kamala and Biden's and the rest of the Democratic Party don't find ways to distance themselves from this phenomenon, these kind of demonstrations, these kind of views, this kind of attitude, this kind of anti-Americanism, pro-barbarism, uh, Democrats are finished. They'll be wiped out.